And we're back for the second part of the battles between fragrances where I pit one fragrance against another just so that you can tell um, which one is the better one and if you own one you don't need to own the other because they're quite similar in their theme and what they're trying to do and in the scent as well generally but not necessarily. So first episode we went through uh, about four so there was two versus two two versus two and we got some winners and then this one will have another battle another couple of battles so first up we have one that i don't own but i've tested heavily um, which is fico de amalfi uh, by whoever they are blue mediterraneo fico de amalfi aqua de parma that's who it is uh picture somewhere and that is going to go up against this one here, which I do own. It is called Noble Fig by Ferrari. And I think it's the first time actually I'm going to be talking about a fragrance that I don't own a bottle of, but I have tested. Um, and that I'm talking about the Fico del Malfi. Um, that one is quite nice. It's less fig oriented I find than um, this one which is uh, just a great fragrance here here noble fig by Ferrari give you a good look at that bottle really nice bottle even leather with stitches on the back um, and the nice prancing horse which I'll clean up and show you clean it up properly clean it up and show you the prancing horse there it is and this one Wow, it's not hyper-realistic fig. And again, fig is the main element uh, in here. Mm. It's not a fruity fig either. It's the fig stem. It's the, it's the unripened fig. It's a little bit milky, um, milky. You know, when you, when you pick an unripened fig and there's that little, milk that comes out of the stem it's like a it's almost like a glue um, that's the smell I get and I have done a full uh, review of this as in I've I've written a full review of this but um, I'm saving it uh, for when I get better at cinematography <laughs> and, and shooting film so that I can properly do this one justice it is one of my favorites I, I, I don't wear it all that often because it does take me back to my past because figs and the smell of figs have been around oh, for most of my life and growing up in my childhood home my dad had a fig tree and every summer this thing would give and give and give and in the summer heat you could smell figs in the air and it's really nice um, in, in that sort of environment and it takes me back to that I have also tried and tested I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's Figuer Eden by Armani's Armani Privé line. Um, that's very similar to this as well. Everybody knows that it's very similar to this. However, this is shit ton cheaper than that. And longevity is about the same, which means it's poor. Uh, and that's probably the only drawback that I have with this one is that longevity is poor, which isn't all that bad because it just means you get to spray it on again and that's the fun of it isn't it when you get to spray it on again and it hits you all over again so um, out of the uh, Fico de Amalfi uh, by Aqua de Parma or Ferrari's Noble Fig I think you know who's the winner because I haven't bought a bottle of that because I thought no, I don't need a bottle of that because I've got this already and I don't want two of the same fragrances especially when that one is three times the price of this one this one wins Ferrari's Noble Fig I think caught a little bit of hype, but then I think it's starting to catch a little bit of hate. And I don't think it deserves it. I think it deserves a lot more than that. So that's that one. Next one is going to be actually an interesting one because I originally had planned this for a battle between the ones where you would wear at the beach or the ones where you would wear when you want to go to the beach or you want to smell like you want to go to the beach. And it was going to be between this one Bavulgari's Aqua Amara, which is this one here, and it was going to be between that one and this one, which is Eternity Aqua. Okay, Eternity Aqua 
Bulgaria. I'll just take them out of the box. Why not? Why not? Since we're in the mood of taking things out of boxes. Um, there you go, the pebble again. Damn, that's nice. Um, yeah, mandarin, seagrass, uh, salt, salt water, something like that. Versus, versus something different smelling, which is Eternity Aqua. I haven't mentioned this on my channel before. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it, right? And this was, I used this up in a week, which shows you how weak this is. Ugh. Okay. Mmm. A little bit sweet. A little bit cucumber. Mmm. Yeah, I kind of get a little bit of floral, a little bit of citrus, a little bit of, but like it's a lot of cucumber, but then it just disappears. No matter how much you put this on, like this. It's nice, then it's gone. So therefore, <laughs> look at that. That was one week in Queensland. I used up all of that. Um, and, and I don't think I've used it since then. So this is gonna come last, but I guess lounging by the pool in the sun with this on, it was okay in its own time and place. Um, and that was going to be it. That was gonna be it. It was gonna be Aquamara kills it. Absolutely kills it against Eternity Aqua. And then I got this, which is Dolce Gabbana's Light Blue O Intense. And this one hmm, is gonna give Aquamara a run for its money because, and as you can see, I've, I've used up a bit of this as well. And, and, and I only got this recently. Um, terrible. Terrible atomizer. Mm. Funnily enough, funnily enough, these two are the most summery fragrances that one can think of because it's basically a, a day at the beach is what these things smell like. And they last forever. People don't realize this. I've, I've, I've seen and I've read talk of these things don't have the longevity. It's not that. They do have the longevity. Spray it on your clothes and you'll see that you'll be able to smell this three to four days later on your clothes as like a sea salty kind of smell. And same with this. Maybe the mandarin will, will wear off, but you'll still get that seagrass kind of vibe. So eternally aqua away, it's gonna be between these two. And I would probably, well, it's a tough one because this is a safer bet. However, this is a more unique proposition and it's a more beautiful composition to my nose. And I would pick Aquamara over Light Blue O Intense and both of them over Eternity Aqua as much as it's trying to be Polo Blue or something like that, but whatever. So that's it. That's the, that's the battles that I've got. I can't even put these, maybe I can put it like this. That's it. That's the battles that I've got in this video. Um, tune in for the next one. Do you tune in? I don't know. Do the thing that lets you know that I've got another one. Um, you, you click on something down there and it lets you know when I've uploaded a new video. Um, yeah. So the next one, I've got a few more battles coming up. Um, yeah. Stay tuned to find out what they are. Okay. Thanks for watching.